Hi guys and welcome to How's It Rate. My name is Chico and I'll be your host today. What have we got today? Well, I was wandering around through Walmart and it dawned on me that a lot of people were asking me to do a review on the Celeste Pizza. Now I'm assuming they meant the personal pizza because that's what I found. And uh, it looks really nice on the cover of the box there. And the price was right. It was 88 cents at Walmart. So, um, can't go wrong price-wise so far. Uh, let's see here. Celeste. Nice picture of the woman there on the, on the left. She looks like she's been in front of a pizza oven many, many hours late at night. So, authentic Italian since 1930. Pizza for one. 100% real cheese. And that makes me happy because there's some stuff out there that is not 100% real cheese. All right, this is a uh, original four cheese pizza. Microwavable in uh, minutes. Keep frozen, simply cook and serve, okay? Uh, I don't like to microwave anything like pizza because it's just uh, the same thing that happens with bread. When you put it in the microwave, it just, I don't know, it does something funky to it and it messes it up. So if possible, we are going to do this in the oven. Um, now, a little note down here, it says, enlarged to show quality. So they took a close-up of that picture to show the quality, which we will make note of when it comes out to the, of the oven to see if it looks anything like that. Uh, the net weight is 5.22 ounces, and for you metric guys, that's 148 grams. Nice package, I have to admit. Pretty plain, but very colorful. Um, not too much uh, bull on it, you know, just a nice, clean pizza kind of looking carton. Okay, so we said we were going to use the conventional oven. Let's see what the directions are for that. It says, do not put microwave disc in convectional oven. Yeah, oven. Oh, okay, so there's one of those microwave discs that's probably on the bottom of this. Place baking sheet on top center oven. Preheat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove pizza, or remove frozen pizza from the carton. Unwrap, place frozen pizza on the preheated baking sheet. Bake 12 to 14 minutes or until center cheese is melted and the edges are golden brown. For extra crisp crust, place frozen pizza directly on the center oven rack. So with no, uh, no pan, I would imagine that's gonna drip all over the bottom of the oven. So I would stick a pan way down there to catch the drippings. Uh, let's see here. Do not purchase if carton is open or torn. Keep frozen and for food safety and quality, cook to a temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, just for the heck of it, let's see what the microwave instructions are. Uh, cook only one product at a time. Remove frozen pizza and microwave disc from the carton and unwrap. You know, that's twice they told us to unwrap it. I wonder how many people have stuck it in there wrapped. Never know. Center the disc silver side up on the microwave plate, uh, safe plate. Place frozen pizza on the disc, microwave on high, see chart below. Uh, 1,100 1, watt oven is two and a half minutes and a 700 watt oven is four and a half minutes. Remove plate from microwave, loosen pizza from disc with a spatula. Caution, disc and pizza will be very hot and we know that from past experiences. So uh, they have some serving suggestions here and I'll just mention them, I won't read them all. But it says snack attack recipe ideas, a taco nacho pizza, a buffalo chicken pizza, a BLT pizza, and a broccoli and cheddar pizza. None of which sound appetizing to me. No, not at all. The nutrition facts, we'll run uh, through those quickly. Serving size is one pizza, 148 grams. Servings per container, one. I got that. That's what it says on there, personal pizza. Uh, calories, 370. Calories from fat are 140. Total fat, 15 grams at 23%, saturated fat, 8 grams at 40%, trans fat, zero, that's good. Cholesterol, 25 milligrams at 8%, sodium, 790 milligrams at 33%. Total carbohydrates are 41 grams at 14%, 
and dietary fiber is three grams at 12 percent sugars are three grams and they don't mention the percentage and protein is 15 grams we can live with that and then it's got the vitamins and all that goodies quick look at the ingredients i think we got a chemistry set going on here all right the topping is sauce tomato puree water tomato paste seasoning salt spices sugar dehydrated garlic parmesan and romano cheese a blend of pasteurized cow's milk enzyme salt flavor blend um, oh yeah flavor blend and malatodextrin and dextrose and natural spice yeah, not too bad so far salt modified cornstarch blah 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 so there is um, there's definitely some unknowns in there and then it goes on to mention some provolone cheese pasteurized milk salt enzyme smoke flavoring crust here's how we make the crust Wheat flour with melted barley flour, water, shortening flake, palm oil, soy, lechin, butter flavor, cottonseed oil fl uh, flavor, and beta carotone. I mean, it goes on. A little bit of yeast, fruit, fructose, corn syrup, and bingo. Now, when I make my own dough, I don't use any of that stuff except for the flour, the water, and the salt, and a little pinch of yeast. That's it. Four ingredients. Did I say them right? Flour, salt, pinch of yeast. And what was the other one? Water. Yeah, yeah, four ingredients. So, enough of me yapping. Let's go pop this baby in the oven and see what comes out. See you in a little bit. Don't go away. Well, guys, there she is out of the oven. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. That looks really good. Wasn't that long that it was in there. Just 14 minutes. And I got to tell you, it looks really, really nice. It's done a little bit more on this side than that side, but it looks really good. I'll tell you, um, I'm surprised it came out looking like that. Now, if the flavor is good, we got a winner for 88 cents. Mm -hmm. Scorching hot. I'm cutting through it, and I can feel a little crustiness on the bottom, which is good. So, uh, oh yeah, look at that golden brown on the bottom. Mmm. Didn't get much cheese on that plate. Want to get a little cheese. And I got this outside crust, which was a little toasty. So let's see. Mmm. The crust is nice and crispy. Um, it's not like a traditional pizza that you would buy out. Uh, but it's better than a lot of them that I've had that I bought out. So not bad there. And um, just want to take another bite of the, the cheese and sauce here. Hot. There's a good amount of cheese on there and it tastes very good and it's stringy it does have that stringiness to it so there's mozzarella in there for sure it's got a nice flavor the cheese really has a nice flavor and it's abundant um, the sauce is very nice not too overly salty it definitely tastes tomatoey um, actually quite good I'm, I'm, ex I'm extremely surprised I did not think that this was going to be that good um, I've had a lot of people ask me to do a review on it um, and some of them have had it and they said it was really good apparently this doesn't just come in single packages it also comes in packages of four and I believe more than that but I got the uh, single serve size 88 cents at Walmart so uh, let's see what we think. Give it a, uh, some stars or not. The crust, I'm going to give about a four. It's not the best I've had, but it's far from the worst that I've had. The cheese, I'm going to give it a five. Yeah, the cheese is really, really good, tasty, um, what I'd expect on a pizza. So there's a five. And I've got to give the sauce a five in the combination with the cheese and how they used it with this cut crust. It's very nice. It's balanced uh, very nicely. It's not mushy. 
um, it's not greasy uh, it's actually quite pleasant to eat and you throw in that 88 cents cost in there and how easy it is to prepare I guess we got a four and three quarter I never thought never thought I thought we were gonna be uh, a lot less than that so that's about it folks I'm definitely gonna buy this again I'm probably gonna buy the four pack or even larger if they offer it um, and I recommend that you try it I think you'll be pleasantly surprised I haven't tried this in the microwave yet I have a feeling it wouldn't be very good in the microwave uh, but it came out absolutely beautifully in the oven and it has a nice smell to it too so yeah I would highly recommend it I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe right Rufus say bye say bye yeah take care guys have a great day